Well, as the Delta virus surges here and across the nation, more businesses are putting rules into place trying to keep people safe. KKL 9's Rachel Kim shows us how many are now requiring both employees and customers to show proof of vaccination. The sign on the door is pretty clear. Beginning today, Osteria Labuca restaurants are requiring diners to provide proof that they're vaccinated against COVID-19. They say on their Instagram page, we haven't fought this hard for this long to let it go awry now. They also say the policy will be enforced by a security guard. Oh, wow. No, I had no idea. Sirosh Ishak and her family are visiting from Seattle. They stopped by for lunch and just found out that they'll need to show a vaccine card or a digital version, scan or photo of it. Fortunately for them, they have theirs on hand because they've been traveling. It's great. I mean, I, I would be more relaxed taking my mask off inside. My kids would be, um, you know, better off inside. Other places are not doing it, so I think it's a great idea. Good because, you know, it'll probably force more people to get vaccinated, which is probably a good thing. More Southland restaurants, bars, and businesses are now requiring proof of vaccination or a recent negative test as new coronavirus cases continue to surge, fueled by the highly transmissible Delta variant. We want to provide the best, safest environment we can. Conservatory Restaurant in West Hollywood implemented the policy last Tuesday. Diners have to show proof of vaccination or a negative test result from the past 72 hours. We know it's not a popular decision with everybody. Ultimately, though, we had to see what was best for ourselves, our staff, and our guests. Owner Paul Colt tells us even though he may lose guests as a result of the safety protocols, he believes it's the right thing to do for people's safety and for the health of his business and industry in the long run. We don't want to get back to that place where we have to shut down. We have a terrific staff. They're hardworking. You know, they fought so hard to get here. And to take this step backwards would just be devastating. Reporting in West Hollywood, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.